Hey everyone, this is Christian Buckley with another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with Amit. How's it going? It's going good. So for folks that don't know you, who are you, where are you, and what do you do? So um, I'm based out of uh, Hyderabad, India, and I'm a Power BI community super user for the last two years, and I recently got uh, MVP for Data Platform this month. Congratulations. I know it's always, it's, I, I try to keep track of announcements and I see people that got you know, new or removed or renewed that I've not yet had participate in this program that I don't you know, know and around the world to reach out. And so I, it's always great to hear from brand spanking new MVPs. And so how'd you get started? Like, what was your path to becoming an MVP? Okay. Uh, so, um, let, let me go a little bit back and then we'll come to the Microsoft path. So sure. I started my career in 20, uh, 2002 uh, uh, and then I joined Oracle in 2003 and I was part of uh, analytics team. And then I went ahead uh, with one startup where uh, we were creating our own BI tool and wow. at some time after I, we decided to move out and when I decided to move out, that was the time when I started working on uh, Power BI and uh, I fall in the passion of Power BI. And uh, I came to community around three years back uh, uh, for my own um, issues, which I was facing. I want to learn something. I want to get help. And then I found that, you know, I can, uh, you know, uh, help out people on the community and I, I can, you know, learn more things of using that one because, you know, you have limited scope in your project to learn. But when you mm -hmm. go to community, there are all sort of uh, challenging problems are there. Other folks are facing uh, and you can solve those or initial days I used to wait for it to get solved because if I don't know the answer, what's the answer going to be coming? So uh, yeah. there used to be, um, you know, super users who want to answer that problems and you wait for that, you subscribe to the issues and uh, you wait for the solution to come in and then you try it out or there sometimes you have complex problem which which you try, which, uh, you know, the data has been provided, you take that data, you try to solve it yourself and then validate your answer when it is correct or not. So that's how I started. Uh, and then uh, I developed that interest and then I, whatever spare time I have other than my work, I used to contribute a lot. And then uh, Corona blessing disguise has given a lot of opportunity to, you know, continue to work on that. And uh, I became a um, community super user and uh, post that, uh, I, uh, I continue to work there. I had given 15,000 solution on Power BI community till now, uh, which is highest in number. Wow. And other than that, I ran a YouTube channel, which is having around 450 videos. I keep on writing down blog on Power BI community and Medium. I'm pretty active, active on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, in fact, on Instagram also. <laughs> And uh, people keep on, uh, uh, other than community, people keep on asking me questions on these forums. So I try to encourage uh, everybody to go to community for that. But yes, I do answer on those forums whenever I'm available on those forums. So this was my path. And then I got nominated uh, uh, in the uh, in July this year. And that's where I got it. Prior to that, I got nominated a couple of times where I was not able to make it up. You know, it just made me think that, uh, yeah, that we have like the uh, MVPs that kind of, found that they they had more time since they weren't commuting working the same hours you know during the pandemic that it were able to really focus on community activities so it's like it's it's almost like uh you know we have baby boomers like you know people that were conceived during uh the post-war period the baby boom period we almost have like pandemic babies of for mvps and so it'll be interesting to go a few years from now and look back over, hey, did we have kind of a growth spurt, the program around it? But the other point, I, I love that too, is that there's a lot of people that are wondering, like, how do I get involved? And I think it's a great thing to say, it's like, you don't have it, to participate in community. It might be initially that all you're doing is consuming information, listening in, trying out the solutions that other people are, are presenting and a asking other questions where you're not sharing anything back, that's still a great way to participate in community, start to be familiar with 
What kinds of questions are people asking? Um, what kind of problems are they trying to solve? Because over time, as you get more comfortable in the space, you start asking those questions. As you're testing things out, I'm sure you went back and asked other follow-up questions or had to tweak it slightly for the needs of you know the nuances of your business. That's a great way to get started in the community for those that are wondering like where to start. Yeah, I think sharing is learning. So if you are on Power BI community and if you are one user who are not aware that you know you can get help on Power BI, so Power BI community is the place uh, I think uh, you can start with getting help. And if you know a little bit and you, you know, a little bit expertise on that and start helping out. And, you know, what? when I go back to my work, I found that, you know, the problems are easy most of the time. And the reason being because I have tried solving all those problems uh, on the community and that's making easy at my workplace uh, be because I might have solved similar kind of problems and I've seen it. And there are so many different kind of requirements that you go and explore, you go and explore features, otherwise you might have missed out. So that's being on community gives that, you know, advantage that, you know, every features will be asked, everybody's doing some different stuff, hundreds of things getting explored at the same time and which you might not explore in your project because once after a particular time, your project will become as, you know, in a stage where you are only developing few things. So in that way, I think, uh, Community is a great place and anyone uh, who wanted to go on a path of super user or MVP, my advice would be go ahead and start helping out on the community. Completely agree with that. So what else? So you, you talked about Power BI a few times and that's kind of the focus of like your MVP. What else are you passionate about right now? What, what are you excited about from recent announcements or other things that you know is happening within the ecosystem? So I'm pretty excited the way Power BI ecosystem is expanding. Like, you know, we have Power App integration, we have Power Automate in integration, then the Power Virtual Agent coming in, and then we have this AI integration, which is happening in, into the Power BI. That's give, you know, a lot of things because what happens is usually the BI tools are, you know, uh, what we call it is read only, they don't write back. Now with Power right. App, you can go ahead and write back. Then with Power Automate, you can, you know, run certain flows while, uh, you know, sending it back data. You can share email out and all those. So this complete ecosystem, which is developing out is actually is a great advantage. And this is also giving us opportunity to learn something outside the BI world and, you know, explore those things like automation, uh, app development and all those. So I'm pretty excited about, you know, the complete Power Platform. Yeah, it's, it's incredible how quickly that, ecosystem the power platform world and the community around that is growing so rapidly microsoft often talks about hey this was our fastest product this is you know and it was sharepoint was for a long time that was my background my initially was a sharepoint mvp was the fastest growing product in microsoft history surpassed by then you know teams was the fastest growing product in 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 history and for years, just the, the the Microsoft 365 ecosystem is just dominated. But now you have very rapidly user groups are kind of moving their focus over to Power Platform and, of course, all the products within that. You're still within the Microsoft 365 community. It all fits in there together. But that segment of the community is growing so rapidly. Uh, it, it's it, incredible to see that. It's uh, having been in three different complete completely different technology ecosystems. This seems to be like the golden era of Microsoft technology from a community standpoint. It's just on fire again. I don't know if you're seeing that where, where you are as yes. well. I mean, the, your user yes. groups growing again. Yes. So user group growing. And when you solve the problem, you know that the amount of problem which is coming in, like, you know, the number of problems which used to come in 2019 and 2018-19 when we started and number of problems when we see these days coming in and the kind of complex problems which are coming in, they have all increased. Widespread problem increase, we, we can say, you know, huge amount of, you know, questions are coming in. And that gives, gives us an idea that, you know, okay, the uh, product is, you know, um, getting a lot of attraction, a lot of new people are coming in, they are learning and they are coming back to community. Same thing we are seeing, you know, a uh, lot of uh, learning courses are coming in. A lot of people are teaching around it. A lot of YouTube channels are coming in. A lot of views are coming on the channels. And this means also that, you know, uh, community is extending. And then you, there are there are more and more requirement of Power BI, which is coming in. And also as a company, because uh, uh, 
uh, we go into the market, we go a lot of, get a lot of Power BI requirements and they are increasing day by day. It means every day we get more requirements than we have yesterday. So that's, uh, you know, we are seeing huge growth and the requirement sometimes comes with the need of Power App, they come with Power Automate requirement. And that's give us, you know, real good thing that you, okay, in the eco, being in the ecosystem, we are going to be able to solve those problems. And so for people that are new, maybe this is my last question for you is, uh, you, you, where do you, where would you point somebody new coming in? Like, where should they go and focus? What would you say that they need, they really should learn first or, or multiple things, but where would they go? Where do you point people? So my advice would be when you started learning on Power BI, uh, so there is a, a, a official documentation we had for that. Uh, you can uh, take in any of the courses uh, from the experts which are available either on YouTube or some other uh, places. And then once you have a little bit of knowledge, uh, and that's where you know, even if you, when you face the challenge, you can come to community and you know ask questions. And once you learn a little bit of it, then you start, you know, uh, you know, solving some of the problems in community. And you don't have to, you know, uh, uh, think that, you know, I, I don't know. Just wait for the solution is coming. There is a data you saw. Try to solve it. Try to uh, keep on attempting the problems more and more on the community, and uh, keep on learning from the experience which other people are giving. They share some good links around those things. They share some videos. Community blog is another good place. Means we have so many blogs on so many topics. That is another place. So if you search rightly, you will definitely get a blog on community. So most yeah. of the time what happens is uh, if we search it rightly, we will have some blog or other blog. We have major gallery where you can get, you know, the solutions on the major. Then we have, uh, you know, a themes gallery. We have uh, the uh, uh, videos gallery and all those where you can get a lot of things. You just need to explore community, all the things which you are providing in Power BI community. I think there's a lot of help available. So as a newcomer, my advice would be go to community and explore all the things which we are, we are providing there. Yeah, tons of stuff out in, so if you go to so the Microsoft tech community, you know, and find just people that you like, their voice, their the content that they're providing, follow those blogs. It's always, I'm a, a huge advocate of that as well. Find people that you like, that you trust, reach out and connect with them, especially MVPs. The most approachable crowd on the planet like like we're there because we're connected to the community don't be shy feel free to reach out but some of the other resources too so i know that like i'm i'm actually going through a power platform training course through a group called collab 365 which is out of the uk you have plural site you have linkedin learning you have youtube videos so free and paid there are tons of training resources out there for pl power platform uh, of course, across the board. And so, and then one of the uh, favorite people in the whole world uh, uh, is uh, Heather Newman, who runs community for Power Platform. So you can always reach out and ask Heather questions as well. She's very approachable. But Amit, really appreciate your time today. Folks that want to get, reach out and connect with you, what are the best ways to reach you? Uh, the best way to reach me uh, is definitely if you're asking a problem on community, I'm, I'm, uh, I will reply there. Uh, of some other folks will reply, then I'm reachable on LinkedIn and Twitter uh, pretty easily. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. And enjoy that beautiful San Francisco Bay Area weather behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.